two amazing SaaS journeys. The first one we're going to cover is an AI SaaS product that makes $34,000 a month in recurring revenue. And it's a product that caters towards people who are trying to use no code to build their own AI tools. Our second story is going to be how a founder reached $3,000 in revenue with an AI screenshot renamer. I know you'll get a ton of value out of both of these stories here, so make sure you stay until the end of the video. So let's dive into our first story. This product is called Formwise, and it was founded by three co-founders, Justin, Javier, and Sean. And it's a tool that allows anyone to build powerful AI tools with no code. So if you're looking to build any type of tool from internal tools to lead generation tools, this product is going to make it super simple. So it makes it easy to start from scratch. Or if you want to tell Formwise what you want to do, it's going to help build that entire tool for you. Such as if you want to do, I want a tool which rewrites a resume to fit a specific job. It's going to pre-build that tool using AI for you. You can see a preview here. And it's going to let you embed this anywhere or integrate with your existing site or CRM tools. You can create versatile tools you can monetize. In terms of revenue generation, they're going to do so on a monthly basis, starting at $29, going up to $199 a month. And as mentioned, this tool does $34,000 a month in recurring revenue. In terms of of how this tool started to find product market fit, they did so by really niching down their target audience. According to Justin, they think that many founders are creating and casting their nets too broadly. And with Formwise, they really focused on a specific target customer base. And for Formwise, this target base were SaaS owners and coaches. And this made it much easier for them to target specific communities in which they could advertise into. So as an example here, we can see directly in their top navigation menu, they're catering towards coaches. And it's going to explain how this tool is really good for coaches. We can see they're able to create a lot of targeted ad copy and website copy here, targeting the specific coach's niche and persona. Justin has some really great advice around churn as well. Churn is so common for SaaS products. And if you have really bad churn, it's going to make it extremely hard to succeed. And for Justin and Formwise, this was a big problem. And specifically for Formwise, it was because their tool could be quite complex. There's a ton of different features and difficult concepts that can be hard to grasp right away. Examples of this include prompt chaining and RAG or retrieval augmented generation. And so if you're just bombarding a new customer who's just signed up with these concepts, you can put them off from the product very quickly. And so they went back to the drawing board and they really approached the product from a lens of someone who didn't understand any of these AI concepts and they went and redesigned their interface. Now, when a first user logs in, they're not going to be able to access all the technical features that are available. And so they really cut it down so it looked like many of the features weren't included and made it so much easier for customers to go and take that next step and start using the product effectively. And this managed to cut their churn almost in half, which is a huge improvement. And they only allow access to these more advanced features once a customer has started to build their own few tools to show that they've really started to understand the platform. In terms of how Formwise has grown to $34,000 a month in recurring revenue, it's been through two main marketing channels. The first one is going to be organic growth. And they did so through content marketing. They also have a very generous affiliate program, which is going to incentivize their own users to bring in more users to the platform. So let's dive right into our next SaaS story here, and it's about Keep It Shot. It was founded by Vignesh, and this product is a Mac app that's going to utilize AI to automatically provide descriptive names for your images and videos. It's also going to create an offline, fully private, and extremely fast search index for locating your screenshots using simple keywords. Now, before we talk about the launch, let's dive back into the ideation of this product. And so they were building a video-based search engine for lecture videos. And when they look back at building that product, they don't think anyone was going to use it. But in the process of building it, they converted videos into images, renamed them using AI, extracted the text, generated descriptions, and built a semantic index. And then they just took this script and they started renaming their screenshots as well. And when they did that, they realized that the value was more in renaming the screenshots than what they had built the tool for previously. And they ended up using this tool on a daily basis themselves before ever thinking about launching it. In terms of their tech stack, they went with Tari, which was something they were familiar with. They thought about experimenting with some other tech stacks, but they wanted to build quickly. They stuck with what they know. So let's dive into the launch next. And once they finished the product, it only took them around 10 days to fully complete. They went and launched it on Reddit. And along with Reddit, they went and released on Product Hunt. And from there, they started to see some significant traction and visitors as the Product Hunt Twitter tweeted this and they got over 900 likes. And it was a demo video they had created 
were. It was just them using the tool and renaming all these selected screenshots. So if I play it here, it just really emphasizes how easy the tool is to use and how fast it is. And so at the beginning, they went and released a lifetime deal. And they did over $3,000 in revenue just from that. And so now they're doing a combination of both a lifetime deal or a one-time payment for $19. And they also have a monthly plan here. We're going to get more credits and they do $220 in monthly recurring revenue from that. So a really cool story on how this founder built something for themselves, decided it was really cool and then launched it on both Reddit and Product Hunt where they got some really good traction. If you've gotten this far in the video, I'm sure you want to build your very own micro SaaS, but to do so, you're going to need some ideas. And that's where I have you covered with sneaky micro SaaS ideas you can steal for free there's a link in the description to this below. I also have a complete course on how to build your very own micro SaaS, even if you don't have any SaaS experience. It's a step-by-step -step academy that's gonna show you how to build, scale, and profit from your very own micro SaaS. There's also a link for this in the description below. So this is gonna conclude the video here on two amazing SaaS stories, one about Formwise and the other about Keep It Shot. I'll leave a link in the description below to the source material. These were both posted on Indie Hackers, so make sure you check out the original below. The first article as well was written by James Fleischman. If you enjoyed this video at all, I would love it so much if you smash that like and subscribe button below. I'm coming out with new SaaS stories like this all the time and you don't want to miss out. Also, let me know in the comments what was your favorite part about the video and what other stories I should do. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.